So here we will try to use several tools like GitHub, VS Code, and Docker to quickly start with the new REST API backend project on Iris. First, we are going to find and use Iris REST template, which is provided by uh, our Inter Systems community with several other templates that we, you can reuse. So pretty much all you need to do is log into your uh, GitHub account, click the Use this template button, provide GitHub with the name for the new, new project, and decide if it should be a public or a private access. So once you're done, just click the big green button, and GitHub will create a repository for you based on community template. So it will take a while, and we have our project. I will switch to the VS Code, and we will use the VS Code source control capabilities to clone this repository from the GitHub. Uh, pretty much it has just a nice uh, clone from the GitHub button, which once you're logged in, will uh, show you all your uh, existing projects. All you need to do now is just to provide it with some folder where you want to save uh, the project and you can pretty much after a little bit of wait, start uh, developing using VS, using VS Code. Uh, another last step we need to do to start developing is, uh, well, provided we already have Docker installed, just bring up our uh, Docker image using the Docker Compose file. So here you can see how uh, Docker will build our, our image. It will use the Iris community um, as the base image, and then it will use this installer class to load and install all our source code into the standard Iris installation. So it takes just a little while, and here we are. We can now start developing using Iris. Um, one last thing that I want to do is I want to log into the Iris and use uh, ZPM. Uh, the package manager, which is available in community builds of Iris, uh, to install the Swagger UI. Uh, we have quite a few uh, different projects maintained by the community on the InterSystems Open Exchange website, and many of them are available using the ZPM package manager. So you can go and have a look. Okay, so the Swagger UI is installed. And now let's go and see uh, what kind of samples we get with the uh, project template. So we have one class, which is persistent and uh, JSON enabled, which will store our data. And another class is the REST dispatch class, which has defined uh, routes and the implementations. So what we will do now is go to the server UI, which we just installed, and uh, try to use our REST endpoints using this nice uh, user interface. So first of all, we'll try to use the populate endpoint, which will add several uh, records to our database. So here we can uh, click on try it out button, enter the desired count of new records, and get rid of this stuff because we don't expect anything in the request body for this particular um, entry point and click on execute. So here we can see that it returned uh, code 200 which means there is no error so supposedly we, are, we have five people in our database now which we can check by going back to the first entry point uh, to list all people in our database. Here it doesn't have any parameters, so we just press execute. And here we are, we have five people returned from the last one. Uh, 